It's no secret that the real way to conquer holiday spending without feeling that financial sting well into the new year is by staying on budget. Kyle Taylor, also known as the Penny Hoarder, is here today to discuss holiday spending without breaking the bank. Kyle, how can we manage our holiday spending while staying on our budget? Well, we all know that Black Friday and Cyber Monday just ended, but if you missed it, don't worry. In fact, last year, the best deals actually came seven to 10 days before Christmas. So this is one time where it actually pays to procrastinate. And I have three tips for folks if you still need to do your holiday shopping. The first one is, is if you don't have time to bargain hunt, the number one thing you need to make sure you're doing is using a cash rewards credit card. And one of our favorites at the Penny Hoarder is the Barclay Card Cash Forward MasterCard because it offers an unlimited 1.5% cash rewards plus a 5% redemption bonus. It's just one of those things that sort of, uh, you don't even have to think about to, in order to save money. The second thing I recommend folks do is to sign up for the store email newsletters. Now, I know we all get a ton of emails already, but it, those emails have exclusive coupons that you can often use to stack on top of sale and clearance items to get those things even cheaper. And the last thing I recommend folks do is to take a picture of your receipt. Now, I know that might sound kind of silly, but there are apps like Abada that will pay you cash rebates on those, re re on those receipts. So for example, Best Buy is offering a $5 rebate right now when you take a picture of a $100 receipt or more, which is pretty awesome because we're already going to be shopping there. We have our holiday gifts, but now need to wrap. How can we save money on gifting essentials like wrapping paper bows and cards? Yeah, all those cards and bows start to really add up. In fact, it can cost up to $11 just to wrap one package. So we recommend folks think outside the box. That's the big box stores. The drug stores are famous for having huge loss leaders around the holidays. And you can often pick up those Christmas cards and bows and wrapping paper at huge discounts. How can we be frugal and yet get a gift that does not say close out sale? <laughs> well, we have a huge list of gifts that are under $10 on the pennyhoarder.com. So you, just because you're being frugal doesn't mean you can't give something special. I also recommend if you're really on a tight budget, think about giving an experience. Think about offering somebody a home cooked meal or a day out. I think that's just as valuable as a gift. What are a few low cost Christmas gift ideas? Yeah, so again, I love the idea of just doing something nice for somebody. Um, when's the last time you got out your mixer and baked cookies or a pie? Uh, that, those, kind of, uh, those kind of things mean a whole lot more to people than something that you might be buying um, online or at the toy store. Where can our viewers find your website? So please check out thepennyhoarder.com for more tips on how to save money. And check out findmybarclaycard.com for tips on credit card cash rewards. I'd like to thank you for taking the time and sharing with our viewers how to conquer holiday spending. Have a great day. Thank you. You as well.